This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and uh, it's been a while since I did a video about uh, like radar detectors, lasers, and, and uh, radar technology. Uh, actually, today, one of the topics that I wanted to talk about was LIDAR or laser um, and how it's different from radar, how it works, and uh, why you really need laser jammers to defend yourself properly from these. So the first thing uh, that, that I wanted to bring up is just the difference between radar and LIDAR. So radar is microwave signals uh, regulated by the FCC. Uh, you, it is federally illegal to jam radar. Radar, so radar is microwave signals. LIDAR is light. Light is controlled by the FDA. There is fe no federal law against jamming light. So um, getting into this, uh, this right here is a true speed S. Uh, this is a binocular style uh, LIDAR gun that the police use. Massachusetts State Police love these things. Um, it's uh, a fairly new gun. Um, you know, it's not variable pulse rate like Dragon Eye or, or anything like that. So the first thing that you're going to notice uh, is that it has an eyepiece on the end uh, where they look through it. And then what happens is there is a uh, transmitting eye and a receiving eye on the front. And what it's doing is it's shooting invisible light in the 904 nanometer uh, spectrum with a pulse rate. Um, and that pulse rate, they know how fast light travels. Uh, so what it's doing is it's measuring how long it takes that pulse to return back Therefore, you get distance. So if you have those two variables, then it can compute speed. So that is how it works, and it's very simple. It's, uh, they just hit the button to turn it on, and at that point, they're shooting. Um, and like I said, it's a, a pretty awesome unit. Now, one thing to remember, um, I'm going to show you guys some clips uh, just from my neighborhood. I'm going to shoot some vehicles. And uh, I want you to see how quick you can get the speed off of a vehicle if you have a steady hand. Now, I was shaking it because I was trying to hold my iPhone up to this. Uh, but normally I can hit cars pretty far out because I do have a pretty steady hand. But unfortunately, I didn't holding a phone and trying to hold this and hit a target. So check these videos out. Look how quick the speed is acquired. that pulse rate and uh, as you can see that is pretty fast now one thing to remember about LIDAR is that the light out of this the beam pattern does not spread much with distance so you know at approximately about 1500 feet um, that beam is only about 18 inches wide so police are trained to shoot at the front license plate or your headlights um, so if they're shooting there and you have a radar detector with a laser detection eye on the top, odds are it's not even going to go off and you're going to get a ticket. Now, every once in a while, you may get lucky. You may get lucky uh, from a phenomenon called laser scatter. Uh, and that's where the police are shooting another vehicle and that pulse rate kind of reflects off of something else and your radar detector picks it up. Uh, that could give you a save, theoretically. Uh, the other way that you, you could possibly get a laser save with a radar detector um, is basically if the shooter doesn't have a steady hand and let's say he's aiming at it at a very far distance and they're shaky 
and they accidentally shine it up towards your radar detector, uh, it'll go off possibly before they get their reading, but as you can see, it's pretty deadly. Uh, so your only protection against LiDAR, true protection, is a laser jammer setup, something like uh, anti-laser priority. Uh, that's the best on the market as of right now, as far as laser jammers, and uh, those things are absolutely awesome. And what they do is they interrupt the pulse rate of the gun so it can't get a reading. And at that point, you know, they can't get a lock or anything like that, but you need to be smart using laser jammers anyways. But that's a completely different topic. Anyways, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you have questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. This is Jay with Car Guys, New England. Until next time, take care.